Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Age of Wonders 3. Well, let's get in here and kill some trolls. Sure. We'll get advanced logistics. Okay. Uh, we should be able to travel across pretty quickly. We found out last time that there are actually a lot more uh, trolls in my lanes than I at first believed. <clears throat> We've got one left with, what, four hit points here, which is pretty sad. Uh, I think... Who did he kill? It was eight of them here. Oh, it was the Naga. That's right, the Naga army. The one juggernaut and the engineer. Let's go for him. Uh, auto combat should be fine. Don't cast any spells. Are you kidding me? How on earth do we go up against a troll with four health and lose an engineer? Auto resolve in this game is just absolutely obnoxious. Alright, what items do we have here? Quite a few, actually. Where did these come from? I feel like there was a hero who uh, needed specific items, but I don't remember who it was um, or where they are. So let's find out. Schnaga needs a headgear and a chest piece as well. There happens to be both of those uh, in that stack. He could use a helmet. Oh, why aren't you wearing this one? There we go. Uh, Koth could use a chest piece. Leather of the Harlot that suits him perfectly. Uh, Battle Crown of Kings. Plus two defense and two resistance. This is just two defense. So we'll put that on when it gets here. Okay, she's outfitted. He is outfitted. He is outfitted. So it's just uh, Schnaga that needs items that was up here so the helmet can go to her and the chest piece here can go to her inventory full oh okay uh i guess we have to come in here and put that on her headpiece okay This is a jewel item, as well as this. Man, who died here, I wonder? It had to be one of Liana's heroes, uh, because I don't remember having any of these items. And I don't remember having a hero over here for, for them to die and uh, drop all that stuff. Okay, so she could use a jewel item. Um, I think everybody else has... All their jewel slots filled. Yeah, so it's just Shnaga that needs a jewel. Uh, which one's better? Two resistance, touch of faith. Touched enemy unit is marked. When a marked unit dies, all friendly units are healed. That's pretty awesome. Restores all the action and movement points of the target Tigran unit. That's a little useless because we don't have Tigrans, but that uh, blood sacrifice is pretty cool. 
Let's send that to her. And that's pretty much all we can do. All the rest of this stuff, I guess, can just hang out. Uh, let's see, does Koth have room for it? He's not going to have room for all of it, I'm sure. Well, I could be wrong, though. Okay. Then Benham will get the rest. There we go. So we've got all the stuff stored, at least. That will be fine. Uh, where... Where are more trolls? I wish they were easier to see. We fought a battle up here uh, last time as well, and we did succeed. With a little bit of damage, but nothing too terrible. No, oh, that's three. I thought that was a full... Full group there. So we'd be up eight against eight. And we've got three engineers. Um, which isn't ideal. But we do have three juggernauts. A flame tank and a cannon. No, uh, two juggernauts, two flame tanks and a cannon. That's not bad. Uh... Let's take the flame tank up here. Join up with this army. Uh, you guys come down here. And then we'll attack these guys. So this should be fine. We're not going to auto combat for obvious reasons. That's pretty frustrating. First thing of the battle of the episode. And um, auto combat totally ruins it. They get to move first, so we get a chance to repair. Oh yeah, this is going to be a tough fight, though. I don't expect to get out of it unscathed. They're set up pretty good for a broadside over here. Pretty ideally, I would say. This will get three of them without injuring my own guys, which is pretty good. I think that the uh, flame tanks, yeah, they have to wait a turn before they can do anything, which is weird to me. You would think that they would have that prepared before they even entered battle, uh, but whatever. This is going to damage the flame tank. This is the only safe uh, position, really. I use the term safe very loosely. Can we get up here? Yeah. And this only hurts the trolls. So let's do it. Oh, come on. I've played this game before. Let's go here. Nice. And then we can send this one up uh, right in here to get these three. Is this a flank also? It does not count as a flank. That's okay. Uh, what kind of damage do we have with the ram? 16. They've got 33 health. 31 health. 35% scorched. And they have a fire weakness. Hopefully they attack the juggernauts. Uh, if I remember correctly though, they do have... Whatever ability... Demolisher, I think it's called. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to line up a shot here. The cannon I'm not too worried about actually. Boom. The engineers I am more worried about. These guys are down to 17 health. I don't think our ram is going to quite do that. 9 to 13. I would like to get the flame tank out on the edge, though, instead of in the middle. So that we could fire in, if possible. Uh, but I don't really want them to get into melee, just because uh, then when we move away, they're going to get a flanked attack of opportunity, which is not ideal. The Engineer will not survive uh, a troll attack, even with their 12 defense, I feel. Halfling Engineers, least of all, because I'm pretty sure they're extra susceptible to damage. Yeah, physical weakness, 20%. For some reason, the Goblins don't have that. I guess they're a bit tougher.
Uh, but they only have 11 defense. They're both goblins. And they both have the solid engineering or whatever it was. Let's see. Uh, yeah, come up here, I guess, for now. And you. That's fine. I'm really not sure what I want to do with the flame tanks this turn. Maybe nothing. Maybe I just uh, leave them be. I feel like I'm missing out on damage, though, and I feel like that's not a good idea. If we go and attack this guy, they're going to flank for sure. Uh, of course, I've said things like that before, and they did none of it. He'd be almost dead if we ram him. Which is a shame. I wish he would be totally dead. Let's come up here with the engineers, and can we blunderbuss him from there? We can. Uh, it does hit the juggernaut, though. Can we move any further? We can. Is it worth it? Probably not. We have other engineers, though, so let's give it a shot. No pun intended. Now we can ram him and finish him off. Not have to worry about it. There we go. Of course, uh, these injured guys are going to regrow uh, next turn, so it's a little bit sad. Okay, let's move over here. And I don't know if this is the battle that we want to use Cardinal Calling on. It's 40 casting points. Or we could uh, mass bless our own troops. This is good defense. It costs more. Oh, I forgot about that. Friendly machine. Okay, I'm going to have to remember that. Um, I should have used this before we attacked, though, if I was going to use it. Um, I think we'll hold off. Mass Bless would work because it gives us the plus two defense, but I don't want to spend that much casting points. We'd be able to cast it again, uh, plus Cardinal Calling in another battle. Let's do it. We're going to need the defense, I feel. And you guys didn't do anything? I mean, it's something. It's not like we can waste it. is pretty good. There we go. Blinded. Doesn't matter really because uh, they're melee combatants anyway. Okay. Four only? I guess that's all he had missing. Oh, wow. They're going to destroy my juggernaut here. Pretty close. Yep, there it goes. Destroyed. Okay. So that's a tough situation to be in. Uh, is here, this is the play, right here. Now we're gonna turn these fools around. Oh, that's not the unit that I need to turn around, but I'm too close to hit these guys. Because I'm going to be hitting the engineers at the same time. And we walked our full uh, length as well. Flame tank, what are you looking like here? This is perfect. Yeah, it's exactly what we need right there. Beautiful. And a level up for us. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I really would love to resurrect uh, that juggernaut back there. Where would we have to go to get a good shot on this guy?
Because we could rapid reload this uh, cannon. I don't think it has the health uh, to move. I would like to get a shot on both of them, but I don't think that's going to be possible because of their positioning. Uh, same with the flame tank. I'm not sure how we would have to be standing to pull that off. Oh man, I really do want to reassemble that juggernaut though, for sure. Okay, a little bit of damage on these guys is going to be worth it to get them out of there. So let's turn these fools around. Got two flanks. Nice. We almost killed them. Uh, where does our... Oh, man. If we could stand where this rock is, we would be able to kill them both. I don't think it would work. No, that's pretty much the only position, I think. Unless we run in between them and come over here... Where would we have to stand then? I think right here on this hex. And then the center would be here. It would get them both, I'm pretty sure. Let's go for a walk then. Yeah, no attack of opportunities here. Oh, come on. Why can't I target the center one? Why is it like this? One health three health. Okay, it doesn't matter. We'll just kill them then. Uh, and I do want to reassemble the Juggernaut here. There we go. Uh, you can ram this guy. That's right. That's what you get. Uh, okay. We're in melee, so we can't use our ranged abilities, which is a bit of a shame. You would think inside of a huge tank like this, you could just shoot the mortar and it wouldn't be any problem. I think in real life that would totally be the case. Okay, flame tank. Oh, you already moved. See, they moved, they moved. We could turn them around and then he would be free to fire. Turn him around with a ram or by uh, killing everyone on my team. Perfect. Okay. Let's get back a little ways. This works, but it's uh, injuring the cannon as well. That's a huge reduction to damage, I feel. This would kill this guy, but is it overkill? Probably. And our poor cannon is going to be destroyed. It's okay, though, because I'd rather have a juggernaut than a cannon, to be honest. Um, okay, we'll do it. We still have the mortar on this guy. Um, but I'm worried about who they're going to go after. I assume uh, the flame tank here, because that's their best bet. And the cannon, I think, is going to get killed by these trolls here. Um, so let's come back here and do a rapid reload on the cannon. So it can get one final shot off before... Oh, never mind. Whoa, that was close. Okay, yeah. Uh, sadly, it's in a straight line according to the hexes. And that's never going to line up uh, with both of them here. So we just got to go with this. Boom. Okay. Uh, they still have three hits on this guy. I would have been better off moving him further away, but he's dead uh, first hit. So let's see what they decide to do. Killed. They're going for the flame tank, as I thought. Okay. You guys want to uh, do some business for me? This is probably a bad idea. Critical. Nice. Um, because I'm really planning on using this thing to demolish them. Why is this on cooldown? You never even used it. One turns. Okay. 
31 to 48. Oh, 41. Not quite enough to kill him. Uh, where do we have to sit? I guess it's safe to come over here, maybe. Yeah, that's perfect. Unless we roll a 31. Okay, dead. Let's come around here. How much health do you have? I couldn't see. Seven. It'll be close. If we roll high, it'll kill him. There we go. And we blinded him as he died. Perfect. Okay. Oh, that was a bit of a bit of an ugly one, but we made it. We're down one cannon. Should be okay. I know there was four groups and we just destroyed all of them, but uh I feel like there's more around here close by. Uh they took this town as well, so we were headed in here. These guys have used up all their movement for this turn. That's fine. Uh, this is going to take a while. One extra turn. Because of the spells that we cast back the other battle. Let's see here. Oh, man. I forgot to check the poll from the last video to see what y'all voted on, um, on how to end the series. So, uh... This might not be the last episode then, even if we kill all of the trolls. Okay, and there's eight trolls here. We have six and four. Have you moved already? You have. So y'all are kind of stuck here for now, uh, which is okay. Flame Tank, I would love to have you uh, up here as well. It's not going to happen though. I'm not going to stick him over here by himself uh, in range of these trolls. With my luck, they're just going to attack the town since it's undefended, but it looks like it's going to take them two turns. So I think they're coming for my guys here. Um, I just trying to think and prepare. We are going to take this town back, and I mentioned last episode that they could be sneaking around uh, this side, so they may end up popping out uh, down here somewhere, which would be super tragic. I guess we could fly around, uh, to this side and see, but, um, it's just really dangerous to send one army around. Let's see. So that's all my armies combined over there. We had somebody here, but we killed them already. Oh, those are purple. So those are my guys, of course. This... These little castles throw me off. I keep expecting them to be towns. Uh, but I don't think they are. I think they're these these types of objects. I could be wrong. Because, yeah, there's no... Unless it's in here, there's no town right here. For it to show. But it feels like those are towns. What are we looking like here? That's Leanna. Okay. I think that's all the trolls. I know we have this group right here. And then the one up here. But I don't... I don't know. I'm not sure if I need to bring up my uh, other heroes at this point now. Let's do it though. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have moved this army up first so that uh, we could get all together. It's okay, we got these three firstborns to back her up, so Shinaga should be safe. Can they move anymore? No, that's it. Okay, Green Meadow. Um, I never decided anything for you. We're actually a little bit short on cash, surprisingly. So I think merchandise is a good call, actually. Hillberry right here. Uh, merchandise again is fine. Actually, merchandise for all of these is probably fine. A Magic Academy? Support units receive plus one melee, ranged, and resistance because of the Lost Library. I've seen this before. It just, uh... Yeah. I didn't, uh... Notice it. 
I'm surprised this doesn't give us a special structure. Although it might. Uh, once we build some other things. Income of knowledge is great. Um, it doesn't say if it would make any difference for my units or anything like that. Let's go with an observatory. This is kind of on the front lines of Leanna's territory, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to um, have unit production here. So I guess we would want one of these. Probably a blast furnace as well. Magic Academy for uh, engineers, I believe, or support units. We have way more mana than we will ever use. We really can't afford this, but I'm going to build one anyway. Oh, you guys can still move? One, one hex. Oh, and we, uh, we lost our engineer here, so that's kind of problematic. Man, this is such a weird army. It's good, though. It's a really powerful, really powerful army, but it's so weird. Um, yeah, I would love to get an engineer sent up there. One more turn for this to be done. And then uh, a Draconian Engineer. Is that what we need? Sure. That should be interesting. We'll march him up north. Y'all are fine. Oh yeah. Let's see. Actually, instead of producing an Engineer, I could just send these guys over there. I don't see any trolls up here. They could be hiding in the shadows here, but there's been enough turns. Uh, they should have revealed themselves if they were hiding back there. Yeah, we'll send some engineers from this army over. Yeah, that's fine. Um, these two armies. I really don't think there's any more trolls down here, to be honest. Yeah, there's these, and that's it, I think. Uh, got these six units here as well. So y'all can hang tight. Y'all are guarding the bridge. This is fine. This is fine. Man, I was so worried about uh, the Frostling Frigette's army uh, because they got caught out on their own. And, um, yeah, they did a fantastic job, actually. Oh, I, I was going to stop at the inn and see who we could buy, and I totally failed. Uh, we have no cash, though, so it's no big deal, to be honest. Uh, we are producing, yeah, more Naga. That's good. The Slither. So, Tier 2 Infantry. There's a Pikeman or an Infantry. I really personally like the pikemen better. Let's go with a couple of reed serpents. So that'd be five units, and then the pikemen will finalize that. Uh, Y'all are gonna camp. Let's see, you guys camp. Uh, no, y'all are fine. I just moved you there. Okay, go ahead wherever you were going. Must be a juggernaut in this army. Yeah. Y'all could actually hang here. That'll be it. Trislon. Alright. Let's see this battle. I thought so. We should be okay here. It's closely matched, it says, but I think we have them. Um, now that I say that, though, and I look at the folks here... We may not have them. This is definitely close. We're definitely casting spells here. We get to use the Chthonic Guardian, though, for the first time. So this is going to be exciting. Oh, that's right. I'm defending, so I get to go first. That's good. Uh, let's start with the Culling.
Man, that's loud. Uh, I've already forgotten what it does, though. Oh, yeah. Physical weakness and reduces their uh, damage. So that's all very good. We want the knights to hang back so that they can charge on their turn. Let's move up. Uh, same for the ponies. Man, the ponies are not going to be incredibly valuable. Besides maybe their um, shoosting. Hide back here. Yeah, let's cut their forces in half. If we can, you guys hurry, because you're going to need to get to the Juggernaut. How far can they move? To here. So aligned with that. Let's hold back by one. I think they're out of range. Yeah, just barely. Uh, show of strength. Oh. Uh, we can't shoot them. It's fine. Yeah, so we cast our spell. We moved around. We're all done for now. Oh, I thought he was going to do a show of strength and knock down that bench. It's not the case. Get in here tight. All close together. Bunch up really close. Come on. There you go. A little bit closer now. A little bit, uh, yep. Well done. Okay, perfect. Uh, we're going to have to move up a little bit. And we can only hit two at a time, which is kind of sad. But it is what it is. Uh, let's move up this way. Yeah. Yeah. So they're out of range, but it uh, it counts as in range because we're shooting in range. Let's give him a shot. Oh, I should have turned him around. I didn't think about it until after I let loose the uh, attack there. Okay. Nice. Dazzled on these guys. That's fantastic. Uh, that means we could close the gap and murder them straight up. This is one attack. We get Monster Slayer, and it will kill them. Unfortunately, it leaves us open for a flank. Gotta take chances, though. Devastating charge. Okay, eagles. Are y'all gonna finish them off? We'd have to get in real close uh, for this. How far away are they? They're within range where they could attack us. And if we stay along this line, we're still in range. I don't expect the adventurers to live, though, if I get them in combat, so... Um, not exactly sure what I'm expecting here. Go ahead. Nice. He's got one health now. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, engineers. Y'all are going to help out the juggernaut here. But in the meantime... Nice. Leveled up as well. Okay. Eagles, come up here and help them out with the flank. Actually, uh, here is going to be the best. And then Brew Brothers, y'all are going to come up to help heal. Unicorn, come on around. Ponies. Uh, yeah, be ready to help them out. And I almost forgot about the Guardian. What is this? Within four hexes, gain Inspired until the end of combat and Vigilant for the rest of the turn. Okay. These are my weakest guys, so we're going to cast this here. Wow, that actually goes a long way. I like that. Okay. Defensive strike is great. We're definitely going to use that. Okay, two down. Come on, Jesters. Hang in there, guys. 
critical defense here for us. Nice, Lucky. Oh, I really thought they were going for the uh, adventurers there. No, no such luck. Nice. Man, I love Lucky so much. Okay. Uh, we have to wait. So can we rapid reload this guy? Resets cooldowns. That's gotta be it, right? Okay, so now we should be able to mortar right behind these guys and turn them around. Beautiful. Okay, Jesters. Nope. They're not turned around, as a matter of fact. And you guys can't use... Yeah, you're gonna get attacked if I do that. This is a flank, and it is going to kill him. But then we're trapped. They're gonna kill us. Everyone can't live, though. Sadly. And you guys are going to... Yeah. Nice crit. Beautiful. Let's try for a dazzle over here. Yeah, these guys can definitely handle these two. So these are the ones that I'm worried about. Nice, we got them both. Holy cow. Cage Thonic Guardian. Uh, it doesn't... I actually shouldn't use this because... Uh, they have Guard Breaker. The only reason I would use it is because it's more powerful than the regular melee strike. Evil Slayer? That's fantastic. Okay, let's do this then. Okay. That does mean she can't be flanked, though. Um, I guess until they attack her, because I imagine once they attack her, she'll be turned around. Okay, Brew Brothers. Uh, I think they're out of range still. So this should do it. 13 to 19. Are they going to kill them? Oh, they did. Man. I don't think you understand how impressed I am by that. Okay, this should be a flank, I believe. Oh, except they're guarded. Never mind. So we're not getting any bonuses. Uh, nice crit. And lucky. So he didn't even get hit. That's beautiful. I love it. Okay. Uh, come up here. You're going to be helping the Chthonic Guardian. Look at all these dead trolls. It's so gross. Um, we're not going to show our strength right now. Unicorns, do I trust you guys to not die? Not really. In fact, I'm worried that you are going to die if I put you over here. Because you're going to be the weaker unit. <coughs> nice. Uh, and that's everybody, right? Yeah, just the knight hasn't gone. Regrowth. Oh. Ran straight around and went for my adventurers. That's weird. Nice. Chthonic Guardian for the win, I swear. Uh, we can't make it over here, sadly. And we can't shoot behind the guys for some reason. They're already dazzled, though, aren't they? They are. Okay. That turned them around as well. Uh, we could straight ram them. Should be fine. You guys already got a level up this turn, didn't you? I can't remember. Did they level up from killing the last trolls? I don't think this will put them in range. No, they're still out of range. Oh, crit, though. Nice. Uh, let's see. Oh, they can get in. They don't have any uh, ranks yet. Nice. Oh, that went a lot better than I expected. I thought we were going to lose somebody. Closely matched, they say. Ha! Oh, the knights did get a rank here. They're now troopers. What a trooper. Experts. Uh, veterans. We got veterans for the engineer as well. And we got to get to elite to get that emergency repair. And the, <laughs> the dang adventurers leveled up to trooper. That's pretty good. Chthonic Guardian, though. No ranks uh, for her yet. That's fine. 
Man, that went a lot smoother than I thought it was going to, honestly. Okay, we've just got these up here that we need to worry about. Oh, here they are. Here's six of them anyway. I wonder if the other two are either hiding out in the town or coming around this direction. Uh, either way, we should crush them. A little worried about my low health troops there. Yeah, let's abort. Let's bring all the guys in while we can. Okay, here they are. They're inside the town. I wonder if they can... Uh... I wonder if they can build troops and stuff while they're in here. That's my question. Alright. Very likely victory. We should be fine here. Griffin Rider over here. And our nymphs can do work here as well. Alright. Frost Breath. I don't guess that's going to do much against them. Well, it kind of does. 30% shield, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we need to move, though, if we're going to do anything. <clears throat> and I'd rather uh, try to get these guys. So I think we would have to move all the way up to, like, here, maybe? And of course, our back is going to be exposed. Um, this is about the best we can do. If I try to get them in the mix, I'm going to miss out on these, because I would have to be where this fence is, I think. to go... No, actually... Yeah, I'd have to be exactly where this fence is. So let's just go with this then. Nice. No, I said nice, not ice. Uh... I'll leave them to these guys, actually. What's our chance to nymph one of these guys? 50. Yeah, she's got a much better... Uh, a much better chance than the matriarch did. She was like a 35. Maybe do we attack them first? Try to knock down their defenses here. What's the shape again? Okay, three... So if she is up here, uh, we could just get very close. Kind of in a cone. Yeah, it should be fine. We could put him like here. And if she's here, it should... It should be okay. So let's come up and try to seduce. I don't envy you seducing a, uh, a troll really gross um I don't think we can get these guys without putting her in the line of fire here I think we said he needs to be yeah perfect spirit breath that's so gross all right uh you could probably 1v1 a troll right yetis all are the same tier monsters they actually do a lot more damage than you do, though. Uh, now we could try to seduce one of these guys. 50%, come on. I got faith in you. Oh, resist it again. This is terrible news. Uh, we can fly in. I think this is a flank. I don't want to have my back exposed here. Baby reed serpents, you guys can't do anything. You could spit poison. That's about it. Noxious vulnerability. That's good. Uh, let's hit him with it. Could go in for a charge. I think this is... Oh, this is potentially a kill. Not guaranteed, though. Let's give it a try. 
fumbled uh, retaliation here. Nice. So that's good. We have our trolls uh, to guard the back of this dragon, which I think is going to be the the thing to do here. Guard breaker as well, so they're no longer going to be guarded. Wow. Why is their retaliation so much stronger than my actual attack? It's not fair. Musketeers. Go ahead and advance here. Can you shoot these guys right in the back? They're out of range. Nice crit. Oh, beautiful. Okay, we should be able to finish them off then with the robots. Uh, not... Yeah, not right next to them. Let's come up here. Nice. There we go. Um... I wish I could heal these guys up already, because I think they're about to die. Because they have Demolisher. Yeah, so they're probably about to die. Unless I put the flame tank in front of them, which doesn't make any sense. Uh, I can't actually get the flame tank in front of them, either. Let's come up here with the Brew Brothers, so that we might get an attack of opportunity or something if they run past. There we go. And they're in questionable state uh, because they're going to have three attacks on them, I'm pretty sure. So I'm worried about the Brew Brothers. Let's bring the flame tank up as bait. And this guy can come up here, prepare for um, the charge around. I don't think they can go through here to get to my dragon. So I think they're going to have to come around here. Um, and they're going to go for one of the machines, I imagine. Uh, I totally forgot the, about the unicorn. We could charge in and kill this guy. Which I think is worth it. One less troll. There we go. Okay. And flame tank, you're... Where you are? Seven. Oh, going for the nymphs? Why? My poor tasty nymphs. Oh, critical. Nice, lucky. Oh, man triggered twice in a row. They would have been dead on the second hit there. Oh, fumble. And they really hate my nymphs. Come on. My nymphs were so sweet on you guys, and now you're being rude. Oh, man. That was wild and crazy times. Um, yeah. I'm utterly and completely surprised that they didn't assault my machines. This is a flanking attack, so they shouldn't have a retaliation. Likelihood of death. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, my poor... Poor sexy nymphs. Baby reed serpent, shoot these guys. With a flanking attack there. Nice. Uh, let's see. Golden dragon, can you just eat these guys? Maybe not. It's a possible kill, though. Pretty likely. There you go. And Frost Dragon, you're not going to be able to eat these guys either. Go up here, and then attack for the flank. There we go. Uh, Unicorn, I think it's probably best if you get out of there, but I'm going to be bold and run you over here. Oh. Here, kill this troll. There you go. Griffin Rider, do you want this? No, you don't. Not bad enough yetis. Yes, you do. Okay. Have it. Have it then. Good. We lost a nymph. That's sad times. Man. More units against less units and higher tier units on my part. Um, And we lost somebody. That's crazy. I will get another nymph going pretty soon. But uh, for now, we're just going to charge in. Make sure we're all well reinforced here. Okay. Man, I think that's about all the time that we have for this, uh, this one, though. Let's get some merchandise production set up. Hellberry, you're in. Merchandise. Clear. We only have 84 bucks. Okay. These armies are not my concern. Uh, we can only do it inside the town. 
sphere, basically. There you go. Sonic Guardian, you're in. Oh, nice. She can actually make it up here and be part of the next battle, I'd say. Oh, okay. Well, I am going to go back to the last video and see what the votes are. Kind of tally those up on the poll and see where uh, we're going to leave this series at. We are done, as I would mentioned last time. Um, if we could ally with her, then we would get the allied victory. For some reason, she doesn't want to give it to us, though, because uh, we're not strong enough, is what she claims. Maybe the trolls have weakened her a bit where she feels more comfortable allying with us. What is this? Lord of the Deep? Where did she get that from? I want one of those. Is it some kind of sunken city or something that uh, that has those? I can't see it, so uh, it's not going to tell me what it is. Yeah, something like this. Shrine to the Fickle Mermaid. Do I need that in my life? There's a lot of independence down here I should have cleaned out a long time ago. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. If you want to catch another one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time that you spend on my channel. And I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.